Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Autoimmune Prepper here. Today is Word of the Day Wednesday. And if you are new to my channel, I like to say welcome. I also would like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell as well, so that you're notified when I put out new videos. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back. I hope you enjoy Word of the Day Wednesdays. Now, Word of the Day Wednesday is where I choose a word and I share it. Excuse me, I have a throat lozenger. Trying to help my throat. But it's where I share it with you all. I read from the dictionary and then I associate either articles or a little story time associated with whatever the word of the day is. So it's meant to inspire and motivate, educate, all those good things along the lines to help everyone across the spectrum. So before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask, take a moment, give the video a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. I also would like to hear from you in the comment section. Now, today's word of the day is gratitude. I would like to know, what are you grateful for? What type of attitude of gratitude do you have? I find myself in a lot of my videos, I started to end them by saying, please wake up and start every day with an attitude of gratitude because it's too often that we take things for granted and we're just not grateful enough. We don't express gratitude. People want things the fast way. A lot of people think people owe them things. Nobody wants to earn anything. People just want things given to them. Um, we're just living in a world where everybody just has a sense of entitlement and nobody really knows how to be grateful or show gratitude for things that they have. We too often find ourselves complaining opposed to being grateful for what we do have. And it's not until <clears throat> the things that you take for granted that you don't have them anymore that you miss them and when you get them back then you should be grateful some people still are not grateful you know I don't know they just got to hit rock bottom before they get it but I think it's important to start showing or having an attitude of gratitude every single day for every small thing. Stop complaining about small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just be grateful for the things that you do have. So here we go. I'm going, I have to use my phone because my other computer is just acting up on me. So here we go. Gratitude. The quality of being thankful readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. Example sentence, she expressed her gratitude to the committee for their support. Anyway, so here's a question. Why is gratitude so powerful? Because it is powerful. With gratitude, People acknowledge the goodness in their lives. Gratitude helps people feel more positive emotions, relish good experiences, improve their health, deal with adversity, and build strong relationships. Now, how do you practice gratitude? You notice good things. You look for them even in the most terrible situations and you appreciate them you savor absorb and really pay attention 
to those good things. Express your gratitude to yourself. Write it down or thank someone. So for example, each day, think of three things that you're grateful for. You can start a gratitude journal if you don't already have one. And then you also want to practice gratitude rituals. So when it comes to journals, I actually happen to have two gratitude journals. I got them off Amazon. So this one is um, gratitude and mindfulness journal. And then the second one is the one minute uh, gratitude journal. So see, it doesn't take long to write down something, three things, you know, and they're very simple on the inside. You just go in here, write what you're grateful for, and then go ahead and finish the rest of your day. Or you can do it before you go to bed. So that's something you may want to look into if you don't already have a gratitude journal. So then it says, what does the Bible say about gratitude? First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 through 18. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So what happens when you practice gratitude? People who regularly practice gratitude by taking time to notice and reflect upon things they're thankful for, experience more positive emotions, feel more alive, sleep better, express more compassion and kindness, and even have stronger immune systems. That's excellent. Now, how about this? Does gratitude really work? Let's see. Another study showed that participants who kept a gratitude journal for 10 weeks reported having fewer health problems and spent more time exercising. Expressing gratitude to others has been shown to do everything from improving romantic relationships. They ain't helped me yet. Um, to increasing happiness and depressive symptoms. I'm just kidding, you guys. Uh, let's see. Can gratitude change your life? Gratitude can change your life because it makes you appreciate what you have rather than what you don't have. Remember what I said earlier about stop complaining about what you don't have. Gratitude can change your life because it is the single most powerful source of inspiration that any person can tap into if they simply just stop and pay attention to the simplistic beauty and miracle of life. It just makes your life just so much easier. Let all of the nonsense go. Just express gratitude and just try to live the best life that you can. Okay, does gratitude rewire the brain? Hmm. Gratitude aids in stress regulation by merely acknowledging and appreciating the little things in life, we can rewire the brain to deal with the present circumstances with more awareness and broader perception. So those are just a few things about um, gratitude. So okay, that's all I'm going to read about that. There's plenty, you know, about gratitude and expressing it. So I just wanted to bring that word to you today. So in the comment section, once again, do you have an attitude of gratitude? Are there things that you take for granted? Are you complaining way too much about certain things opposed to just showing gratitude um, and appreciation for what you, you do have? 
Granted, I get it. I know it's tough for many. And a lot of things are easier said than done. But this, you know, could be simple. Doesn't take long. Just grab a journal. Just take a look around you. Look at your circumstances. And I'm sure you can find something to be grateful for. Because let me tell you, like I said, a lot of things we take for granted and we don't know to be grateful for a lot of things until we've lost them. And then when we get them back, you hang on to it for dear life and you express gratitude every day. Now, it's a work in progress, so you can get started right away, right after you watch this video. If you're not already showing or um, writing about what you're grateful for. So grab you a journal and write in there three things. Just three things. It's, we always think of big things that we have to be grateful for. We can be grateful for the ability to see. Because by all means, we take that for granted. It's not until you've lost that ability that you are noted that you know that you should be grateful for that because there are a lot of people who can't see this video they can hear it and same thing on the flip side are you grateful for your hearing are you grateful that you can tie your shoes because at one point in time um, I couldn't at one point in time I could then that ability was taken away and then I got it back. But something so simple as that, something so simple, are you grateful that you can put your own clothes on? Because some people can't do that. Are you grateful that you have fingers that you can use? Some people can't use fingers. So there are a lot of things that we never even crosses our mind on what we should be grateful for and express our gratitude that we have the ability to do those things that some other people can't do. Remember the saying that there's always somebody worse off than you. So when you're in the car, let that road rage go. Don't act on it. Just be grateful that you even have a car to even be on the road. If it's a lot of traffic, Put on your favorite YouTube channel or your favorite radio station and just take your time to get where you need to go. Because a lot of people don't have a car. They have to be on, get on public transportation. Some people can't afford to get on public transportation, so they have to walk. So in each category, we have to be grateful for what we have and what we have the ability to do and not focus on what we can't do or what we don't have. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the word of the day. Please, please, please comment down in the comment section. I want to hear from you. Once again, give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video. And I got to say it, make sure you wake up and start every day with an attitude of gratitude and get your journals I don't know you can just buy a, a book from Dollar Tree but start writing down what you're grateful for alright see you guys later bye